I love felt. So they are felted. They are also stitched. They are just so cute. You have four mittens. You have one, you have four snowflakes, and then these beautiful reefs. Today we're going to use the mittens. And so I'm just going to put that aside. Uh, today's card is going to be a really tall card. I like the tall cards when I need to make a lot. And the reason is because these card bases, three and a half by nine, fits into a business size envelope. You get my point? So then you're going to cut a piece of three and a quarter by eight and three quarters chocolate chip cardstock. And what we're going to do is we're going to do some embossing on this cardstock. We're going to give it a wood grain. This is also a technique that would be perfect for a background for the Forest Friends stamp set. Stamp this down. I want to get as much of the wood knots as I can. See the knots in the wood to make sure the whole stamp actually is, is uh, on to the paper. And that came out really well. And now I'm going to do it again for the bottom because this card is a little longer than usual. Normally this would cover the whole card front. Then I'm going to use my Versamark to heat emboss this. I'm going to now go and heat emboss this and I'll be right back. I think that with the wood grain it actually accentuates the natural look of the wood. This is going to be our base piece. So we're going to do a few things on here. Um, I've got some scraps of paper and I'm going to use my grid paper here because over here, sketch your card design out first so that you have something to follow on when you're trying to repeat it. So I have some piece, some scrap pieces of um, the Simply Scrapped and the Holly Berry again. So this is like a one inch strip of the polka dot. This is about a quarter of an inch, a little bit more of a green. And this is the Simply Scrapping, kind of a nice little design. So I'm going to also use, remember the other day when I had um, die cut some scallop from felt? I'm going to use the extra piece that I had at the top here. The liner paper actually is going to go close to the bottom. And then I'm going to have my words right here. Now the words are going to be done using this die. This is our alphabet die and it's called decorative strip billboard font. And I use these font dies to create chipboard letters. And I don't even bother to buy chipboard. What I do is you know at every time you buy a pack of designer series paper you end up with a piece of paper on the back, right? If you remember that white piece, a very thin cardboard that has the name of the paper and the barcode of the paper, etc. on it. That piece of paper you're not going to use for much, but you can die cut letters out of it. So I like to do that. So we're going to have some letters from there, and we're, I've actually spelled out warm wishes. So... Okay, so that is the foundation, and then we'll embellish it after that. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and put the dots down. So I'm going to use my snail first, see how I'm going to handle the use of my papers. Okay, next I'm going to put down my letters, and... I'm going to use Crystal Effects for my letters. So Crystal Effects is a clear craft lacquer that can be used to make things shiny, but it doubles as an adhesive as well. And it's got a very fine point as you can see. So I can use this fine point to put down um, things like this that are very fine. And this does dry clear, but it dries shiny. So I try not to have it oozing out. So I'm kind of careful how much I put down. So I'm just going to run through this as quickly as I can. But in real life, you know, I mean, oh, this is video. But in real life, I don't rush through this process. 
I take my time, I use my my grid lines on the grid paper to help me make sure that I'm lining these things up. I usually start from the center of the word and move outward. That way I don't run out of space or it's not off center. It's easy stuff when you're when you're not on camera, this is much easier. Okay. Okay, so I've got all my letters down and I didn't put them perfectly center on purpose because I kind of wanted them to align. So there's a little um, pearl for the eye. I think it's too big, so let's use a little one. So I'm going to move my crystal effects out of the way so I don't make a mess. Put an eye for wishes. And then I'm going to also add a few snowflakes. This is also from one of our longer dies. So both the alphabet die and um, the snowflake die are longer. So just remember to get the, the long plate so that you'll be able to run it through in one swoop. I actually did live without the long plates for a while, but it's a real pain in the neck. It's much easier. It's much easier to do it uh, when you have the longer plates. So go ahead and spurge and get the longer plates. All right, so I'm going to put that down, and then the last thing I'm going to do, I'm put a little bit more crystal effects there because of that glitter paper. And then I'm going to put a little bit more of the pearls in the center of the snowflakes. So this is a fun card. I actually, when it comes to Christmas cards, I will tend to go over the top on purpose uh, because it's a Christmas card. So now I'm just going to put this on here. A little bit of the glue gun again. And again, just like the other day, I like to use the glue gun when it comes to felt. And I'm also going to use a little bit of glue gun here. Just a little on the bottom and a little bit on the top. I may need to get dry to put a little bit of tinsel down here. So you can go into your Christmas supplies and go steal a little bit of tinsel. Um, I'm actually cheating. This tinsel was last year's Stampin' Up! ribbon. Uh, and I'm just using a little bit of it here to add a little bit of sparkle to the back of this, to the, t to the focal point of this card. But you can actually go and get real tinsel for this purpose. Um, it's kind of a cool way of adding a little something something to the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my focal point image, which is the felt mittens, right in the middle. So I'm going to use again a little bit of glue gun. You could also use sticky tape. So I'm going to put them down like that. And then I'm just going to take this piece here and it's going to be brought around to the back. All right, so how you put your mittens down is totally up to you. But I snuck, while while things were drying, I snuck some sneaky, sticky tape onto the back of this brown piece. So just again to save time while I was waiting for the glue gun to dry. And then this little piece of string is going to come right over the back. So it'll be secured behind the card. Then I'll get my card base and I will center this on the card base. I really like it. I think this turned out nice. Um, it's one of those cards that sit on the mantle for a long time because there's a lot of sparkle and shine to it. Happy stamping!